Are you down in the pool of pain and worries? Is your life nothing to talk about? Have you been subjected to the torment of life and the shame from the situation you have found yourself in? Life has just been serious with you. You are going through a tough time of your life and you think it is not going to be well again with you. If you are down now, it does not mean you will not rise again. You may be down, but not out of the plans of the Lord. There is a plan for you. God is always doing things and preparing you for a life worthy of the glory of God. You cannot follow God and be forsaken. God is faithful. When things are rough for you, God is watching you and making something out of the situation you are in. You are worried and troubled. You do not have anybody to help you. You have tried everything in your power, but nothing is working out for you. If everybody has rejected you and feel disappointed in you because your life has not been productive, then you don't have to be disappointed in yourself. What you have to do is to focus on Jesus. You cannot fail if you make Jesus your gaze. Your situation may have stressed your life and you are becoming tired of everything. You want to end everything by your power, but this is not the wish of the Lord for your life. This is not what God wants for you. You have got to be strong in tough times. If you are down, it is not the end of your life. If your business is suffering, if your marriage is not going the way you wanted it to be, when your financial life and status is not getting any better, if everything you see in your life is the works and the afflictions of the devil, you don't have to end it yourself. God is always showing you help. You will receive help from the Lord. You don't have to worry because when you call on the Lord, you are going to get your help and deliverance from the predicament and the problems that the devil has afflicted your life with. The joy killer is the devil and he always wants to see that you do not have your joy. It is not God that is keeping you on the ground. The top is where the Lord has always wanted to put you. The Lord always wanted to bless you and give you a great life. But the devil is the enemy of your life and your destiny. The Lord has prepared a great destiny for you. The devil is fighting so hard to put you away from the plans of the Lord. The devil knows how great your life and your destiny is ahead of you. Then he wants to interrupt it and destroy it and kill your joy. There cannot be a great joy in life without the fulfillment of your destiny. Your purpose and your destiny is the real deal. That is the reason the devil has been trying all it can to distract you and make your life very difficult and miserable for you so that you will quit your dreams and become a perpetual failure in life. But there is always great news for you. There is a word that you have not considered with high regards over the time. That is God is about to turn your life around. There is nothing God cannot do for you. There is nothing God cannot give to you. You are about to receive the blessings that will put your life in that shape that it ought to be. It is not the delight of the Lord that you are down and in that pain. It is not the pleasure of the Lord that everything is not going well with you. It does not give God the joy that everything in your life is responding and testifying to the works of the devil. This is not the delight of the Lord. Everything the Lord has for you is great power and blessings. You don't have to worry if it is not coming in time. You don't have to worry if everybody is against you. You have a God that can turn things around for you. You have a Father in heaven that has a perfect plan for you. 
Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. That is the perfect plan of the Lord, that you have a celebrated end. Why then are you troubling yourself? Why are you worrying over something that has no power to keep you down? Now you have to know this, that the reason you are worried about is that you are afraid of the devil, but you are not supposed to be afraid. You have not received the spirit of fear. What you have received from the Lord are the spirit of sound mind and of love. You cannot allow the devil to always intimidate you with its roars. When you are in the face of a storm, you don't have to worry because you have a God whose voice is upon the waters. You have a God that speaks to the storms and keeps calm. You do not need to panic and worry yourself. You have to lay all your hope on God and he will send you help from heaven and you will have your peace. It is the Lord that will help you, not man. You don't have to put your trust in man. Man cannot help you unless God has helped you. No man can save you unless God is using them to save you. Your help is going to come from the Lord. The psalmist knew this and he said, Psalms 121 verse 1, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. Verse 2, my help comes from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. If you know that your help comes from the Lord, then you will not have to fear or worry about the things you are going through in life. All you will have to do is develop a strong faith in God. Jabez had nothing good in his life. His life was full of misery and disgusting pains and problems. Though honorable, but nothing to show for it, not even family will accept to relate with him. Friends had all gone away because his life has been filled with a miserable experience. He called on God and God turned things around for him. 1 Chronicles 4 verse 9 And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren, and his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bear him with sorrow. Verse 10 And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you would bless me indeed, and enlarge my coast, and that your hand might be with me, and that you would keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. God turned his miserable life to a wonderful life full of blessings. Job's life had been afflicted with great affliction. No friend stood and no family was with him. But after all that had happened to him, Job said, Job 13 verse 15, Though he slays me, yet will I trust in him, but I will maintain mine own ways before him. And after all, God turned things around for Job. His life was made great again, and God blessed him better than he had been before. You are down because God is about to take you to the top. There is a shift that is about happening in your life. God is about to turn your life around and make you a brand new person. You don't have to worry about the things you are going through. And Jesus asked a question, Matthew 6 verse 27. Who of you by worry can add a single hour to his life? So if worrying would not solve your problems, then you have to dump it and have faith in God that your blessings are going to come. That you are about to get out of the troubles that have filled your life. In times like this, all you have to do is trust God. When you put your trust in God, He will not fail nor forsake you. Trusting God takes away every element of doubt in you. 
You cannot keep doubting God. You cannot continue to doubt God and think He is going to do anything for you. Whatever you are asking from the Lord, you have to ask in faith. When you pray, you have to pray in faith and you will see how great your life will be transformed by the power of the Lord. Your faith is going to move God to do something for you. You have faith in God. You hold on to God tight and never let go of Him. Your faith makes God happy. It pleases Him to grant your request and give you everything you have asked for. The hands of the Lord is turning things around for you. Your difficulties and pain are taken away from your life. The blessing is coming into your life and very soon your status will change for good. Those that have despised you will celebrate you. It will be like you are dreaming and God will continue to do everything for you and you will have your peace. Don't worry if life is not good today. Just trust God for the blessing in no distant time, you will see how the hand of the Lord will turn things around for you. God is about to increase your greatness on every side and make you the head. God is restoring everything that the devil has taken away from you. God is turning your darkness into light and your shame into blessings and fame. The pain in your life is going away and God is restoring health to you. God is turning things around in your business and your marriage. Every area of your life that you have been praying for the help of the Lord, the help is coming to you. You are about to rise because God is about to lift you from where you are to the place of honor. Ceaseless and inexhaustible blessing is what the Lord is giving you. God is moving you from the bottom to the top. You will control the economy of the nation and it will surprise everyone that has mocked you when you were down and helpless. How did this happen? And you will tell them it is the Lord that has turned things around for you.